understanding the concepts of subsets proper subsets or supersets now take notes the subsets the denotion of subsets is like this the proper subset is like this and the superset is here or use this the superset can be of any of these now let us see many people don't normally differentiate between these three i'll just use this episode to differentiate between these three and you're going to get it now imagine you have set a to be 1 comma 2 comma 3 and you have set b to be 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 comma 6 let me stop here now you observe that you can see that all the element of a can be found in b so invariably i can say that a is part element of a are part of b so i can say that element of a a part of b that shows that i can say that a is a subset of b because a can be found in b i can say a is a subset of what of b now in the case whereby you can see but not all the element of b can be found in a there are some element like four five six that cannot be found in a but we see this one c let's say you have a b c and you have the element d to be b a c now if you check this very well you observe that all the element of b can be all the element of c rather can be found in d the same thing with what i said so that shows that c is a subset of what of d c is a subset of d but if you check this, if you check this, fine, A is a subset of B because all the elements of A can be found in B. The same thing with this. C can be found in what? In D. But what in this case whereby you now have some element of B that cannot be found in A. So this at times cannot, is not proper to be used like this. That is this case. Yes, though it is correct. All I mean is that it is correct. As we say, that A is a, prop, is a, is a subset of B. But it would be proper to still say A is a proper subset of B. The reason is because, but I cannot say that C is a proper subset of D. A. It is wrong. Because of what? Because they are not... Because the same element of C is the same element of what? Of D. There is no other element of D that cannot be found in what? In C. But there are some element of this B that can be found in A. That's why I can say that A is a proper subset of what? Of B. So it's like a proper subset is like an, a case on a subset. But whenever it is just equal like this, then we can typically say that C is a subset of D. Or you say that D is a subset of what? Of C is the same thing. But in this case, I can say that A is a subset of B. But on the normal way that you should, you should write it, then you must write it as A is a proper subset of B. Because there are some elements of B that cannot be found in words in A. If you say A is a subset of B now, you are right. But you are wrong in, in some aspect. Because, yes... If you say it's a subset, we will interpret it as yes, A can be found in B. Yes. But if you want people to know that there are some elements of B that cannot be found in A, then you will you, you should have said that A is a proper subset of B. Then when we listen to that or when we see the denotions, we believe that all the elements of A can be found in B, but there are some elements of B that cannot be found in what? In A. That is the meaning of the proper subset. Now that is it. Now if you will, if we now have the element of a that can be found in b 
and some elements of B that cannot be found in A. You know, I said that A is a proper subset of B, then B is a superset of A. If A is a proper subset of B, then that means the larger one will be the superset of A. All I'm saying is this. Imagine you have set P to be equal to A, E, I. I have set Q to be English vowels. English vowels. You believe with me that the English vowels here is A, E, I, O, U. These are the English vowels. The A, E, I can be found in what? In Q. So I will say that P is a proper subset of Q. And Q is a superset of what? Of P. Don't forget, you can have the denotion of superset to be this. As I told you that it can either be this or what? Or this. Or I say Q is a superset of what? Of P. This is the difference between the what? Between the subset, proper subset and superset. Now, at the comment section, if you have A to be equals to A to be equals to English alphabet English alphabet and you have B to be equals to English vowels Which of this is proper subset? Which of this is proper subset? And which of this is superset? Now, at the comment section, let me have the answer to this. Thank you very much. God bless you. Like, comment, and subscribe. God bless you.